Oh. <laughs> Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, I was contacted by an organization earlier this week and asked me if I'd be interested in making them a prop for an outdoor exhibit that they have coming up this weekend. Basically, what it is is an eight foot by eight foot wall made out of two by fours uh, with one by six and one by four slats horizontally across, kind of the pallet type of look. Uh, they're going to be putting some eyes on uh, each end and pulling a wire across and those will be spaced out maybe a foot or 18 inches apart and they're going to be using clothes pins to hang pictures on. It's going to be called uh, or it's going to be used as a picture wall. So that's what I'm calling it is a picture wall. Now this company has um, their, their company colors are a lot of pastels so there's going to be a lot of bright colors. They wanted it to kind of look uh, kind of rustic looking. So I picked up an idea from a YouTube guy, uh, many of you may know, and I will uh, mention his name later on the video when we get to that process. So I hope that this has painted a picture of the project we're going to be doing, no pun intended, the picture wall. Let's get started. All right, so I got started by going down to the local hardware store and picked up some uh, two by four by eight foot long, not to be mistaken by studs, they're a little bit shorter than actual eight feet, and this wall needed to be uh, exactly eight feet by eight feet. So uh, I cut them uh, accordingly over the Bosch miter saw, got everything I needed. Now, you know, this, this thing here, I'm putting it together with a nail gun. I'm not being real critical here. Uh, chances are, no, there are no chances. Uh, after this thing is uh, being used in about three or four hours at this exhibit, this weekend it's probably going to get thrown away but uh, that's why I'm not getting real carried away trying to get real uh, fancy with this thing it's just some simple walls and I went ahead and uh, put uh, a stud right in the center there too as well so there's the first of the four by eight walls and then this is the second one right here it's basically the the same thing just loaded my nail gun with some uh, 16 penny nails I don't know if they're 16 penny actually they're three inches long so I don't know what the penny sizes there but went ahead and um just go ahead and finish this thing up nail it all in you gotta say nail guns are much faster <laughs> way to go that's for sure if you're not being too critical but uh at any rate there's the second of the two walls and i will just screw those together to create the eight by eight so the next thing to do is to get the the one by sixes and one by fours. Now this is called utility lumber at my local hardware store, lo local lumber supply store, I should say. Uh, they're they're kind of beat up, kind of rustic, a lot of knots, uh, split a little bit, but you know that's the look that we were looking for in this uh, situation. Uh, I started cutting them up to the right size. You can see I started with just cutting one at a time, and then I realized, well, hey, I can go ahead and cut two, three, or four at a time on this thing. Ultimately, got them all cut. There they all are. So the next step is to go ahead and get them painted. Now here's the wild colors that I'm using here. Um, there's a total of six colors. The frame itself uh, is gray. You can see it right there. I've got it propped up with a couple of two by fours. And then the five other random uh, bright pastel type colors um, that there are here. And I went ahead and painted both sides and ends and all of it. And, and uh, got all five colors done. Kind of crazy looking in the color department, but uh, Hey, there, there it is, and that's what they're looking for. That's their, that's their color scheme. So now it's time to assemble everything. And uh, now there's no rhyme or reason here. I just got some one by sixes, one by fours, different colors, and placed them in accordingly there uh, to what uh, I thought might look kind of cool. So uh, that's the way I did it right there. And then just using a one inch spacer and uh, got everything all done. When I was getting down towards the end of this thing, I was hoping everything would be close enough to be acceptable and and it was. I, I ended up being about an inch or so short, but no no problem. That was the, the bottom of the wall, so worked out pretty good. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier when I said I learned a, a new trick from someone out there where you take a new piece of furniture or something new and make it look old. We're going to sand this thing down with a belt sander. I learned this from not Jimmy Duresta, but John Duressa.
All right, well, there it is, complete. Uh, roughed up the old belt sander style way. Yeah, I gotta say, that's at least as roughed up as, as I wanted to get. Uh, turned out pretty good. I think that's the look I was looking for. Okay, well, there it is, finished John DeResta style. And John, if you look real hard, you'll see it around town because this picture wall is going to North Hollywood. Let's get this project finished. All right, well, just continuing on, it's basically the same exact thing as the first one. Uh, you know, getting everything stapled or, or, or Brad nailed together, sanding everything down. And they did uh, notify me and let me know that they do have a, uh, a little sign that they'd like for me to make. Uh, their logo, I guess, if you will, kind of looks like a kite right there. And they thought, hey, it'd be cool if you could just mount this on top of the wall and, uh, you know, maybe paint it that color. So I thought, sure. They don't, uh, the thing is, is they, they didn't want it any taller than 24 inches. So I went to my, uh, you know, scrap wood bin, if you will, again. I always do. It's uh, always handy to have extra wood hanging around for just stuff like this. I uh, found some three-quarter plywood, freehand sketched out uh, this, uh, this logo, and just cut it out with the bandsaw right here. And this is, uh, this is the outside, and uh, once I got the, the outside complete right there, uh, just went over and found a, a drill bit here, one inch, I guess. Um, drill a hole in the middle there so I could uh, get my jigsaw in there and start uh, cutting the inside out. Now, yeah, I'm not a master woodworker. There might have been an easier way to do this, but you know what? I, I ended up getting it done with a lot of weird angles and cuts, but uh, I got through it okay. And just uh, smoothed everything out with a uh, little palm router right there. And then there's the color I happen to have. That happened to be one of the colors that uh, that they had right there, and it matched up pretty good. What you're not seeing is is the little bracket that I had to make to install it to the top. That was I should have filmed that. That was a bit of a challenge, but I got it done. Well, there's the wall in fast motion getting complete. You can see their logo up there, and you can see pictures start uh, starting to show up on the wall. Um, I'm glad I was able to help these guys out on this project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.